our journey embarks with the quest for the essence of crude rural India, but our chase brings us to the fact that the charm of rural India has been lost from most places. But in this very age of overfright urbanization, a tribe of North Bengal named Toto have created their territory on the Indo-Bhutan border of West Bengal, maintaining their ancient culture and golden rural charm of India. They originated from Bhutan, shifting to the other side of the Himalayan range after a conflict with the Dora community, a tribe of Bhutan. After an absolute isolation period in the early 19th century, their settlement and language was discovered by the British government. Totos are considered as Mongoloid people with flat nose, small eyes, broad and square cheeks and thick leaves, and they are generally dark complexioned. On the brink of vanishing, this Mongoloid tribe has been living in five hamlets on a hillock surrounded by five rivulets over several generations now. They lead a light-hearted pleasurable lifestyle which includes seasonal farming of cardamom, corn and betel nuts. Their livelihood is highly dominant on factors influenced by the nature which also explains their nature worshipping custom abolishing all forms of idol worship. They worship exclusively Ishpa and Kima representing the forces of nature and the festive season includes engaging in merryful dancing and ew drinking activities. Although a primary school was established in 1962, till the early 80s, literacy was a distant dream to these forest dwellers, says Dhoniram Toto. The fundamental hindrance accounts to transportation as during monsoon, the inhabitants has to cross six rivers to establish contact with India, making it a completely unconverted route. Through their biological existence, lies in the fact that literally half the population suffer from thalassemia resulting to a specific genetic disorder developing due to incest marriages. Let's bridge this gap of misconception and embark on a journey in reviving the ethnicity and crudeness of the rich heritage culture protecting their sovereignty.